Cock and Bull is one of my favorite pub games of all time. This is so much fun to play. I've been playing this thing for years. I've been in tournaments of Cock and Bull. In fact, uh, the last tournament I was in was at uh, Dice Tower Convention in Las Vegas. We did a Cock and Bull tournament there. Um, it is a blast to play. It's a fun game to play. It's a family-friendly game to play. Uh, I just love it. It's my favorite pub game of all time. This is a special uh, edition. This was handmade uh, by the uh, creator of the game. He used to make these boards. I don't think he makes them anymore. Uh, uh, they're wonderful. And it comes with the instructions in the back. Now, the more readily available version uh, would be this one here. And it comes with this board, which also has the instructions uh, in the back. And I have this uh, edition as well, which I got uh, in Las Vegas, which has, uh, you know, green, uh, green chips, sort of like an Irish uh, version of the game. And this one was uh, signed by the creator for me. Very cool game. I really love uh, Cock and Bull. So very briefly, because at the end of this video, I'm going to post a, a very casual uh, family tournament that I did uh, recently when we went to Marco Island. Um, and uh, you'll see uh, the game in action. But how do you play this game? Well, there's two ways to win. You're going to have a peg, either a red or a black peg, whichever one you are. And you can either win by winning the race, by getting to the finish first, or by chipping in. Uh, placing your chips, uh, three cocks, two bulls, and one crown. You fill that up, you win as well. So, two ways to win. So much fun. Um, I'm going to put a couple of links below where you can buy this game, where you can read more about it. Uh, there's tons of fun information. But um, in the official site. Uh, so how do you play this? These dice are so cool, right? There's only one monkey on each die, and uh, you're going to roll these on your turn. If you roll two monkeys, you get to place one of your chip chips on the crown. If there's already a chip, uh, your chip on the crown, then you get to move six spaces on the pegs here, which is great. If you roll two bulls, you get to place one of your chips on one of the bull spaces. If you roll two bulls and you have both spaces filled in, you get to move three on the peg. If you roll two cocks, you get to place uh, one of your chips on one of the cock spaces, and there's three of them. Uh, and uh, if you have that uh, filled in, then you can move two spaces on the peg. One of the things you can do too, if you roll two cocks or two bulls, let's say your opponent, Black, has uh, the three cocks filled in here, and you roll two cocks, uh, you just flip one of theirs over to your side. This game is great. Um, <laughs> I, I just can't say it enough. It's just super, super fun to play. So if you roll a uh, cock and bull, you have the option of removing one of your opponent's uh, chips from the board and you have to remove cocks first and then bulls and finally the crown. So if your opponent has uh, any uh, cock uh, chips here, then you roll a cock and bull, you get to remove one or you can move one peg up and that's part of the, the race. And if you finally roll a uh, cock and monkey or bull and monkey, you lose your turn, uh, you pass the dice on to your opponent. And that's basically how you play cock and bull. And like I said, I'll post a, a video. Um, but yeah, uh, love it. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite pub game of all time. Now, here's a quick playthrough so you can kind of see a tournament final, the Marco Island final. Uh, and here it is. Starts with a bull and bad monkey. Cox. All right. 
Uh oh, bad monkey. This is for the championship. Viewers can see the uh, $20 on top of the board there. That goes to the Marco Island Cock and Bull champion. And uh, we've had a uh, tight competition so far. Very exciting. And Seabass is doing really well here. I'm gonna start moving up the track. Oh, and there's that monkey. Okay. Very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, she's taking it over. She's taking over the chickens. And there are the bulls for sea bass. Oh, he's removing. Uh, that was a strategic, strategic choice there by sea bass. Could have moved one peg up. He's moving the peg up. He's moving up the board. And he decided again to uh, move the chicken from the board. And he's filling up the board. And there's that bad monkey. One monkey bad, two monkey good. Oh, Andrina takes over. Oh, wow. That's three monkeys in a row. Seabass moving up the peg board. And there he goes again. He's inching forward towards the finish line for the Marco Island Championship. And there are two bulls. He moves three up. <laughs> moving up the board. Two chickens. He's filled the board. If he gets two monkeys here, he wins the game. And he got one monkey. That's not good enough. Oh, and here comes Andreina to start destroying what Seabass has created. And there's the second chicken. He's going to move up the board. Interesting choice here. <laughs> and she's got the crowd. This could be it. Oh, and the bad monkey came up. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's decided instead of moving up the board to uh, remove one of the chickens. And here he removes the second chicken. And now we got... Oh, here we go. He's starting to fill the board up again. But he needs those two monkeys. Oh, and he's filled the board. He needs the two monkeys to win. This could be it. He's got two bulls. He moves two, two up. Three up, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Three up. And he moves one. Oh, and he removes the monkey. Oh, my. That was amazing. An amazing move by Seabass to remove the monkey, which is very difficult. to. And she puts the monkey back on the crown. Oh, this is so exciting. And she flips over the bull. And what is she going to do here? She's going to move up the peg. She's behind. And she's going to start destroying what Seabass has created. And there goes the second bull. Oh, and the bad monkey comes up. Seabass. Interesting choice. He's ahead in the race, but he decided to remove one of the two. And he's turned the bull over. He's turned the other bull over. Seabass is turning it around. And he's got the two monkeys, he's got the crowd. If he rolls two chickens, he wins. Oh! Oh, this is too exciting. And here comes Andre and it's to start destroying what he's done. Oh! This is incredible. What an incredible championship. She needs two monkeys. Oh, she did it! She did it, she rolled two monkeys. Let's see if she's gonna take over the game. Let's see if she's gonna take it over. She's gonna... Oh, she's decided to move up a peg instead of removing the bull. And she's got... She's filled the board. She's filled the board with the chicken. She needs two bulls. Oh, she's gonna move up the peg one. She's gonna move up the race. If she rolls two bulls, it's game over. Two bulls and it's game over. And the monkey came up. Seabass is gonna take over the, the dice. Oh, and he rolled a monkey, and two bulls wins the game. Two bulls, and Andrina is the Marco Island Cock and Bull Champion 2020. What a year. Well, that's it. I uh, hope you had some fun watching that uh, goofy cock and bull video. I know I was calling these uh, chickens. I just didn't want to keep saying cocks and cock and cock and cocks and cocks all the time. So, um, yeah, and sometimes I do call them chickens just to be goofy. But, um... Cock and Bull, check the links below. 
I love this game. Go get one.